Good morning everybody, it is race day again, so welcome back to another race day video. Now usually uh, I, I do some sort of film in the day before, I didn't this time, uh, but I can fill you in on it. So while I sit here eating my uh, rice pudding, my traditional hill climb race breakfast, uh, let's talk about what's, what's been going on. So today is Sunday morning, it's uh, exactly 8am, uh, I drove up here, and where is here? Uh, well, Newcastle, which was a six and a half hour drive on Friday. Um, I got here about, yeah, probably about 2 p.m. And then uh, met up at the Band of Climbers HQ. Went for a bike ride and a coffee uh, with John, who also happens to be partly organizing today's hill climb um, alongside Muckle Cycling Club. So fast forward then to Saturday, and Saturday, um, was more of just like a traditional like ride and chill day. So Saturday we ended up leaving at like 10 a.m. We did a ride and we actually came here, which is Core Bridge, and uh, we rode the climb, which is just there. If you find me at the top of Prospect Hill, which is where the hill climb is tomorrow, here's the group. They just dropped me on this uh, kicker, saving my eggs. That's my excuse. New kit day today. And the climbers. Very nice. I love the tights actually. I got a gilet as well, but I'm not wearing it. But it is warm. First couple of corners on this climb are definitely the steepest. It's cool though. It's a cool climb because it's like a zigzag all the way up. You can see just down the field is where we come from. So the Muckle CC lads that I'm out with today, they're putting on this event. And John has always said like, it'd be awesome if you can do the nationals on this hill. I can't see why not. Cause it's like course record is three and a half minutes, give or take. And uh, it's a lane, it's quiet. It's like really nice. It's like when you've got corners as well, it just takes your mind off it. You just nail it. And I did my usual 500 watt test for one minute on the lower slopes just to see, using the Strava segment, where that puts me in terms of like speed and, you know, like everything else. So we got that done. It's definitely steeper at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. First, first, time, first yeah. two bands. I'll just do the first minute. Should get me to second call. Oh! <laughs> I've only got one ring. <laughs> Medium ring. <laughs> Middle ring. Alright. I'll crawl the rest of the way. Where's the start then? Alright. Oh, right. Sound. So, this hill climb today is called. Uh, Muckle Cycling Club's Prospect Hill climb. The climb is 1.5 kilometers at 7.5%. So it's not savage, but it's actually, it's steeper at the bottom, but it's quite a cool climb because it's a lane and there's like left turn, right turn, left turn, right turn. That's well, so all you need to know is it's windy and it's going in the wrong direction. There's some absolutely crazy prizes uh, in this event, um, I'll put that on the screen now. But so obviously you get like prizes for you know first, second, third. There's additional categories. There's an 82 kilogram category. So like, and the hamper is huge. If I can find a picture, I'll put it on the screen now. Um, but if, if there was any doubt that you weigh 82 kilos, if you get the hamper, you will win 82 kilos next year. <laughs> Then there's Fancy Dress, that's an awesome category. Then there's Hill Climb Virgin, course record of course. Gurn for Earl, which is, well, does what it says in it. It's like, you gotta pull the best faces, which I'm gonna try and do today. Landon Rouge and Return and Smash It. Um, most of them pretty self-explanatory, but it really, uh, the reason why I wanted to come to this event 
some people ask, like, why have I travelled so far? Is, for one, like, I know the guys, like, Band of Climbers are up here. I have a great relationship with the guys, and they've put me up and fed me and everything, which, thank you so much for doing that. They've really, like, pushed this event, like, and, and hats off. There's a full field of 120 riders at this event, and there's other events on this weekend. Uh, the Matlock Hill Climb, which is 83 entries and the nickel pendle which is 22 both of those are like really like famous climbs and they haven't managed to fill the field so i think this hill climb is the one to be at you know the week before the national hill climb champs <laughs> but in all seriousness they they did do an epic job of like pushing it on social media and i think like long gone are the days where you can ex just kind of expect people to show up just because it's uh you know a famous hill you expect people to come and do it because that's the that's the draw um but i think like giving these prizes and not just the prizes but down at the hq if i can find it i'll show you there's a burger van there is a proper coffee van really doesn't feel like i'm on a hill climb <laughs> this is how it should be this is how it should be it's unheard of like when do you go to a hill climb event forget the burger van but like, when, when do you go to a hill climb event and get proper coffee? Like, there's even a beer for every rider who finishes. New sock day. It's always gonna add like 30 watts, right? Look how clean that is. Oh my word. That's another 30 watt save there, I reckon. So I've got my warm up down to a fine art now. Um, it basically is around about half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, steady steady start and then at least eight to ten minutes of like zone three It brings my heart rate up gradually gets a bit of a sweat going. I do about one minute at like FTP or just above um, and I do it out the saddle um, Again, just gets the upper body moving and get changed Get ready and then I do like part two which is basically like 15 minutes with some steady riding and then some over and unders Nothing really specific, it's just more to like rev up um, and get me ready to roll up to the start line. By the way, I can hear the crowds on the climb. I can't wait to show you the race footage.
Well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that GoPro footage because I certainly enjoyed that climb. It didn't even feel like, it didn't feel like I was doing like a 1.5k climb because there was always like people on the next corner cheering and you just felt like the climb wasn't even that long. Maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but it's an incredible event. Like, fair play, Muckle. You've put on a great event and I've even got myself a branded Muckle Cycling Club silver dollar American Pale Ale that I will save uh, <laughs> until after the Nationals. But I'm well chuffed at that ride. But now I've got a seven hour drive almost to get back. Charlie's not been well, so priorities, I gotta get back to her. Oh, this is a bit you don't see. Six and a half, well, just over six and a half hours back. Uh, I've still got to pursue this cough, which, for those of you who don't know what that is, basically, like, when you make a really hard effort, especially when it's cold air, oh, it can, like, really, like, get to your chest, so, um, and Charlie's not very well either, she's not ill, she's just not very well, so, gotta go inside and look after her, and look after myself for the next week, um, but yeah, I wanna wrap the video up now, and I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, I th hope you found it entertaining, or, um, valuable in some way but before I go I just want to leave a message to myself for next week because we are a week out from the national championships Ed what you've done today is proved that it's not a fluke you've consistently performed over the last two months and you've shown how like Jack, how much of a jack of all trades you can be um, winning all the longer hill climbs you entered in September being consistent and continuing to improve throughout October leading up to this one day I hope you watch this on the day because I know you're going to be ropey on the day like you're going to be nervous or the day before you're going to be nervous I want you to watch this clip back and know that you deserve to be there and you've got the ability to do it you've got the ability now I think to do better than you ever expected you would and everybody else is gonna say that as well so that's all you gotta do now is show up remember what you've achieved and what you can achieve at the Nationals so I'm going to leave you with that, show up, just give it your best, hold nothing back, and remember how you'll feel when you cross the line. That sense of just giving it everything. Win, lose, whatever, you've given it everything. So, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> that's typical. I'll see you in the next one.